From the University of California, Davis, this is Newswatch. What I'm going to do is I create a, a dish everybody can do at home. For celebrity chef Martin Yan, really cooking right. requires not just a good recipe and the right ingredients. Actually, everybody knows that cooking is not only an art, but also a science. Science that can be aided by research taking place here. The sensory lab at the Robert Mondavi Institute for Wine and Food Science on the UC Davis campus. It's one of only two universities in the nation with three separate sensory labs and is our arguably the most advanced facility of its kind in the world. It's a place where we can use humans as instruments to find out information about uh, food products or non-food products. 24 booths are equipped with computers, panel windows, and a green ready light. Volunteers examine their samples using touch, taste, and smell. In this case, the flavor code or profile may include descriptions like fruity or grassy, words that can eventually be used when marketing to consumers. So when they buy a fresh fig and they say, hey, I like this, it has kind of a butterscotch flavor, or this has a, a raspberry aroma, I really like it, I want to buy it again. It's research that's providing California's $35 billion agricultural industries with information to help farmers, processors, and vendors supply a better product. Not to mention chefs who say sensory research provides the scientific element to this favorite form of art. And I put them all together because I have something sweet, something a bit tangy. In Davis, Kristen Samos for Newswatch. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.